Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn what the difference is between related, upsell, and cross-sell products in Magento. Yeah, because it's a bit confusing. There's three different types. And in this tutorial, you're going to find out what the differences are. And we'll also show you how to edit them and add products to them within Magento 2. Now, Dave, let's do a little bit of theory first. And the theory is, is that there are three different ways that you can show additional products to your buyers. So let's pretend that our customer, or again, your customer, is looking at a rucksack on our Magento website. And we have a Magento does come bundled with three different options to show additional products to them. Now, what are we going to learn in this tutorial then, Dave? Well, you're going to learn the differences between related, upsell and cross-sell products and where these are set in your Magento system. And then we also have a suggestion on an extension that will help you get these set up automatically. Now, the first of these, Dave, are related products. And this is kind of the obvious one, isn't it? Is that to have some extra products showing underneath the rucksack, for example. And we've got three examples up on our screen here. So the first one would be if your customer's viewing a handbag on your website is that you show other related products, maybe like jewelry or sunglasses. So they are related to the product, the handbag, which they're viewing, and they help accessorize those items, really. And they're directly related as well. Exactly. You could say the same for a mobile phone with memory cards or cases or screen protectors, anything along those lines. And then if you've got a tent, for example, then that's tent pegs and a gas stove to go with that. Now, Dave, there's another type here as well, and that's called upsell products. Now, some people treat these as related products, but they do have a specific purpose, don't they? They do. And that is because the upsell products tend to be a product that you want your customer to buy instead of rather than as well as. So upsell products tend to be better quality, produce a higher profit margin or generally have a higher ticket price. And basically, it's just about trying to increase the basket spend for the customer. So related products, they're meant for similar items or products which are related. So tents and pegs, tents and a gas stove, they all kind of make sense, don't they? So let's go and move on and use some real life examples. So maybe you're viewing or your customer's viewing a handbag on your website, then upsell products would be different handbags that are of a greater value. OK, remember, you're trying to upsell your customer from the product which they're looking at right now to a product of higher value. And there's two other examples which we've got here, haven't we, Dave? There is. So, for example, a mobile phone, you may have the iPhone 5, and you may then decide to show the customer an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6 Plus. Or a Google Nexus instead. Well, I don't think that would be a higher basket spend, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea. Yeah. Again, similar product, but more expensive. That's probably the best way of rule of thumb for doing that. And the obvious one, a tent is a brilliant good example for this, is that if someone's looking at, say, a two-man tent, show alternative two-man tents of a higher value, or maybe show them a three or a five-man tent instead. Does that make sense, Dave? Totally. And the last option which we have in Magento is cross-sell products. Now, these are kind of special, aren't they, Dave? They are, because these appear, again, in the shopping cart. Now, the easiest way to think of these is if you're in a high street store, when you get to the checkout, you usually have those little stands which either have like sweets or chewing gum or lip gloss or whatever. It's basically those small impulse buys, which are just nice little add-ons into the basket, which again, increase that basket spend. I'm just thinking this morning when I went into the corner shop at the till, they got the chewing gum. So whatever product you're buying, you've got the chewing gum in front of you. And again, if the product's just a newspaper or maybe you're buying a four pints of milk at the same time, so that's the reason why I went in there this morning, is that the milk may be £1.20. I think we paid for it this morning. Packet of chewing gum, 60p, no brainer. Grab that while I'm at it and then I'm off on my way. Okay, and you see it all the time. And when you go into any retail store, get to the checkout and there's additional items and those are called cross-sell items. And again, using the same three types of examples which we used before, if your customer's been and put a handbag into their cart, 
then show them hair bands or some other hair accessories which are going to be great add-on items which they can add into their car and typically the add-on items are much cheaper in comparison to the product which they're purchasing but also makes sense for the product which they're adding if that makes sense Dave. Yeah like we used the phone example you might decide to have a universal charger or maybe a set of cheap headphones or earphones just little small basket spend you know little items that can increase the basket spend but just an impulse no-brainer buy for a customer that's right and the last example we got here is the tent so maybe that's some candle mint chocolate in the end so when you go to the cart the, you show those items to your customer again to increase your average order value so again just get the order value up by making accessories and similar products or related products, so those impulse buys available to your customer when they're going to the checkout. Now, Dave, that's a lot of theory. Let's jump across to Magento and have a look at this in real life. So we're gonna jump across to Magento. We'll catch up with you there in a few moments time. So Dave, I've nipped across to Magento and we want to go into catalog, then manage products. Now. I need to go and focus on that rucksack. Okay, so I've got lots of random products in our test site. And I think the SKU was bag one. So I'm just going <laughs> to do a quick search. I can't remember which one it is. Bag 15. You can see I've been using it for testing. Okay, there's bag one down at the bottom. By the way, our example on our page or on our site right now is heavily customized for Magento because we use Magento for selling onto eBay, onto Amazon, and this is why you can see some extra fields in here, such as SKU website title, eBay title, because we changed some of the labels. Now, don't panic because our Magento admin area looks different. It's straightforward to do, and if you'd like to know more about why we're doing things like this, especially around with the bullet points, for example, and also the we recommend option is because we've got this for more the vast majority for free over at understandingee.com. Now, focusing upon the related products first, so just carrying on from where we left off in the introduction, to add products to your related products, remember these are gonna be similar items on the product page. Now, this bit always gets me, Dave, so on the left hand side, untick that tick box. And then where it says yes, choose any, okay? Because right now we got no products found. We got no products which have been added as related products to this rucksack. And then hit search on the right hand side. Now I'm gonna be picking up a couple of random products. But in your case, you would then go and choose similar products. So maybe this rucksack was actually some almonds, for example. Then you could put in some related products such as tiger nut flour. Or actually, the flowers would be better. So other types of flour within there. And again, our test system is probably not the best example to show you this with. But the principles are exactly the same regardless of what products we're picking up. So to add those in, just tick them on the left hand side once you've been in major changes okay and by the way you can search by the name of the products you could search by the type of the product and you get a little hint there for those of you which are selling fashion or configurable products on your magento website then you'll want to add the configurable products not the simple products maybe search on visibility or you may already know some specific SKUs off the top of your head you can search within here, so enter the SKU in there, so maybe you wanted to do bag 15, you would type that in there, press search, and again, big tip for you, after you've been in added a couple, press save and continue edit at the top, and then when you want to do, make another search for another SKU, come back, and again, you want to go into related products, which it has just done, click reset filter, and then you can carry on and do further searches. But it's that tick box, and that drop down box, which always gets me, Dave, for that one. Easily, easy to miss. Indeed. Now, for those of you which want granular control over the position, that's what the position column is on the right hand side. Zero will always come first and then just increment the numbers. So maybe we want that one there first, that one there second, then we want that one there third, and then that one then fourth in the list. Okay, and again, of course, the display of these depends upon the Magento theme which you're using for the front end of your website. And of course, if you do make any changes, remember to press save and continue edit in the top right hand corner. Moving on, Dave, upsells. Now, this is where we would add higher value products. So that flower which we had a few moments ago. Yep. So let's pick on the example of a bag. It would be a more expensive bag. 
if the customer was looking at the flour which we added as the related products a few moments ago, it was a 500 gram bag, show them the one kilo bag or the two kilo or the five kilo or the 20 kilo bag Jesus of the flour. <laughs> <laughs> How much flour? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of flour, but 20 kilo bag is not a lot if you're a bakery, for example, or you're doing a lot of home baking. It's all in proportion. There would be a lot of home baking. It would be. Uh, going off topic, I was looking up for some Epsom salts, but I didn't want a one kilo tub or a 500 gram tub. I wanted 20 kilos. The way which I found the big bag is that I found a smaller one, spotted it in their upsells. So I went from looking for a smaller version and then I found the product which I was after, which was a 20 kilo sack of Epsom salt. Anyway, we digress. So upsells, this is where you would add more expensive products which are related to the same product which you're on there. So our product is a rucksack, so it would be more expensive rucksacks in there. And again, my tip for you, untick, choose any, make a search, and the products which you would like to add, tick them on the left-hand side. And again, we're just using this as an example on the left-hand side, and then press save and continue edit. And our last one will be on the left-hand side, which will be for cross sales. And these typically appear in the checkout when our customers go to the final pages within the Magento flow or just before the actual checkout itself where they've got the cart. And we'll go to our Magento website and we'll have a look for these in a moment. So with that said, okay, and these are going to be accessories. Okay, so if someone's buying like a school bag, this could be a pen set or back to school kit, for example. And again, I'm just going to add a couple of random products to this and then hit search, and we scroll down. Let's go and choose a couple of other ones. Some coconut muffins in there. Again, like I said, we do have random products in our Magento website. <laughs> so let's go and save that now. And what we'll do, we're gonna jump across to our Magento website. We're gonna go and find this bag, which will be very quick because it's in one of the top menus. And then we're gonna have a look at the product page in more detail now. A little note here, is that you may need to clear out your caches and you may also need to re-index for these changes to take effect on your Magento website now. Dave, we are using the Ultimo theme, which is a responsive theme, and our website may be look different to your website. Put that aside, it's the same principles. So if we go into fashion, find that rucksack, and just wait for our product page to pop up a moment. Excellent. So if I scroll down, is that on the right-hand side of our website, Oh look, there's those related products. Again, we don't have any product images in there. This is where our related products have been and appeared. Okay, now you can see that I've been and added some really random products to that. Now, your upsell items may appear in different places. And again, this is one of our test products, hence that's why we've got responsive YouTube and Vimeo videos on this page with the minions on them. <laughs> video content aside, yes, we do have a separate video tutorial to show you how to do that. And you may have noticed the Facebook comments tab as well. Again, we've got video tutorials on that over at Understanding E. And then scrolling down here, Dave, look, we've got some test items which we've got in here. Okay, and we've got some other random items which we've added in. Now, if we were to add this item to our cart, okay, so I'm going to add it to our cart. Then we're going to go to the checkout or to the cart area in Magento. And then scroll down. Oh, look, Dave, based upon your selection, you may be interested in the following items. And by the way, I know the reason why we're not seeing the latest ones, which we added on this product, is because I've picked up the wrong product. So apologies for that. We're just rolling with it as we go. But on this product here, we've got some specific items which we've been in added as cross-sell products within our checkout. And these are the three which we've been in added. Again, it would have been better if we'd chosen a toy for this, but you could also add in a TY Dora the Explorer one or Tony Pop-Up Pirate. Um, that's our poor examples aside, but you can see how this would work. So someone's picked up that tent, okay? That's where you would have the Kendall Mint Chocolate. If someone's picked up a mobile phone on your Magento website, like Dave said, this is where you would have that phone charger, where you would have maybe a memory card for example, and you can make it much easier for your customer to go, oh, okay, I want that memory card, click add to cart, and your basket value now is, in this case, gone from £35.99 all the way up to £55.98, for example. It could have been a cheap add-on, maybe some hair bands for £2 or £3, for example, which you've added in. It's extra items. You're getting your 
average order value up. And of course, then when you go to the checkout, you've got this extra item in there. So Dave, we need to summarize on this one, don't we? We do, because we have covered quite a lot in this basics tutorial. And basically, we've learned quite a lot. There's three types of product promotion that's available to us in Magento. We have related products. And those products complement the product which is being viewed. We then got upsell products. And these are items which tend to be more expensive or at least offer a higher profit margin to you as a business and are intended as an instead of purchase rather than an as well as purchase. And then finally, cross-sell products. They are the small impulse buys to buy as well as the product. So just think next time you're in a retail store and you go to the checkout, all those items at the checkout, they are cross-sell products. They are the impulse buys. And with Magento, you're able to add all three types of these cross-promotional tools to your products on your Magento website. Now, Dave, we've also got this little also bit down at the bottom as well. We do. And one of the key points that we thought we'd like to mention here is that these product promotions can be imported. So I know we didn't touch on it in this quick Magento Basics tutorial, but if you head over to understandinge.com, we have a whole tutorial based on importing products into Magento in bulk using a tool called MagMe. And you can basically import these product promotions in bulk using that tool. Yep. So you can enter the SKUs rather than trying to remember product IDs. And again, I frankly don't even know how Magento does it with the Magento Dataflow tool because I just wouldn't use it because it's so restrictive. Whereas that you'll learn with Magme, number one, you can get products in super quick into Magento. It's like the Swiss army knife for Magento. But also there's plugins available, free plugins, I hasten to add, which will allow you to import related, upsell, and cross-sell products, not only using their product SKU, but you can also use regex for that as well, for those advanced users out there. And then finally, Magento doesn't automatically set up related products for you. You will need to rely on a third-party extension. Now, the one which we suggest is one which we've both used personally on clients' websites, and that's from Headworks. And you can go and read more and see all the different features about that extension by going to understandinge.com forward slash get ARP. And that will give you a link to across the Headworks website and you can see what that extension does for you. And it will help you set these up automatically. So for those of you with very large catalogs of products, having an extension like that will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache trying to put in granular control every single product. So I think more than a couple of hundred products, it's almost physically impossible to do it. And an extension like that will help you. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.